Nothing like Shonen Jump and them being able to Shonenify, whatever that means, a midterm as like a scene of fighting kaijus, right? It's like, oh no, question four, question 11. Basically, Koro Sensei tried to help these kids as hard as they could, uh, as he could, to make sure that they can get to the top 50 to prove the principal wrong, but the principal played dirty. He offered extra, like 30, like he offered like last minute cram sessions for these bullshit questions, right? Specifically made to basically fuck the E class over. And we did indeed get done dirty. But karma, karma was there to clutch up to prove that Koro Sensei, your efforts weren't wasted and we can get them back in the final like exam two full so nothing is lost yet i think that things are only looking better for us and the people over at the main school with the principal they're all fucking sweating let's begin today's reaction Field trip? are we finally gonna get uh like an arc like so far, we haven't really gotten an arc, right? Everything has been very episodic, even though it's kind of building up towards the overall plot. Field trip arc? Sensei, why are you dressed up like a courtesan? Are you trying to be a prostitute? Red light district? <laughs> they do kind of look good on him. It, 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 honestly, it, I mean, I bet those tentacle appendages will go crazy during, you know, pleasure time. <laughs> バレましたか。正直君たちとの旅行が楽しい。修学旅行。暗殺教室でも行事の予定は目白押しだ。京都200分の修学旅行。I feel like a field trip to Kyoto is just such a common thing that it might as well be like its own fucking like little arc, right? Like Kyoto field trip, like hot spring, right? Summer festival, culture festival. New Year's episode, Christmas, Christmas Eve, right? Valentine's Day's White Day. Like, like, there's so many of these like slice of life shit that happens in rom coms or you know shows like this, and it's always Kyoto. Do they have nowhere else to go? <laughs> nowhere else? It's always Kyoto. Kimi-ra <laughs> しかも君たちはマールコースを半ごとに決め、スナイパーを配置するには絶好の location。すでに国は狙撃の頃を手配した。で、100億円の中からバンパイされる。暗殺向けのコース選びをよろしく。ビルトリップ、ビルトリップ
What is that? Bitch sensei says something? Opinion disregarded. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy that you're pulling out a real fucking gun, right? This is not a fucking BB pellet gun. This is a real gun she's pointing at the children right now. <laughs> Only you could utilize this because you could move so fast. How the hell could we get anything out of this? Okay. I'm surprised that the main school is even allowing us to go to the field trip. You would think that they'd be like, yeah, we're going to cut the funds and only 3E doesn't get to go to Kyoto. Or maybe everyone else gets to go to somewhere even better. I see, that's the difference. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> they get better train tickets, they get better hospitality, they get better everything. And then we, what are we going to do? Are we going to have to walk there? Are we going to take a fucking bus, bro? <laughs> This fucking teacher. Yo, I, I get it if the other shitty kids are fucking doing this, but teacher, like, come on, bro. You beefing with children right now. How, why you look so smug? Why, like, like, he has such a personal vendetta against these children. Yeah, these two, these two, these, these two fucking clowns are always the shitty kids that are always shown for us. <laughs> You smell that voice? Oh, I smell broke. These poor asses. They gonna ride coats? <laughs> Hide your money, folks. We got some broke asses around. Oh, shit. Oh, it's sensei. My God. I can respect that. I also appreciated any lady that dresses extra, even though it's uncomfortable, just for her glory i'm all for it it's kind of funny how every time like we're supposed to be getting like quote unquote bullied right the answer is bit sensei every time they're like ha ha broke asses e-class losers then bit sensei shows up with titties then it's just like everything is okay now <laughs> everyone's like oh man i wish i was in that class bro <laughs> Let's go, bitch sensei. Karasuma, come on! Take it off now. I mean, careful choice of words. I mean, you, sure, okay. Okay, in front of them? It kind of looks like Gyome here. I don't know, something about this reminded me of, like, fucking Demon Slayer Gyome. <laughs> It's the same voice actor? No wonder. It's cool to see, like, obviously there's so many kids in this classroom that it's hard to really develop any sort of, like, a connection to them so far. But, like, of this group, uh, this kid kind of stands out to me. It's, it's the school shooter type. <laughs> he, he, we never see his eyes and the bangs are always covered. I did notice him in the earlier episodes as well. He hasn't done really anything, right? Of this group, I don't really know except this blonde girl. Um, of this group, uh, I kind of recognize this kid, the third kid. He's kind of outgoing. And obviously, we have our personal group, right? And then, of this group, this guy kind of stands out, right? The fucking... The guy with the quote-unquote main character hair, but he, he's just like super pessimistic and doesn't believe in Koro Sensei's teachings. But I, I think that he might have like a great character arc because he's so opposed to everything. And then we have our like main group, right? Nagisa, Kayano, I think, uh, class fucking Normie Vanilla President, whatever, chemistry girl, baseball guy, Karma. How can we hear him outside a train like this? This might look even more suspicious. I don't know, just like invisible, but like. The clothes in the backpack? What's happening? It just stuck to the train? Okay. Yeah, it's
This fucking nose is gonna fall off, bro. It's just a fucking... It fell off last time. I thought it's part of his disguise. Uh -huh. Okay, if this secretly has the anti-Koro-sensei material in it, I think that we could kill him right now and do damage. Okay. Sugaya is like a very crafty handyman. Okay, that's kind of cool to know. <laughs> very subtle. A character that you introduce as like a normie vanilla girl that doesn't that doesn't really stand out. Immediately pants to her. Who knows what true colors will be revealed? Gee, I wonder, huh? Is she a fucking freak? What is she about? Yo, is she a Kushida? What kind of person is she really? Mask off. <laughs> oh. Who's that? Who's that? Did these are high school students? <laughs> they just look comically fucking old and evil, bro. School trip itinerary, Kanzaki Yukiko. Oh, she stole that from us. He, he just fucking pickpocketed us. That's Kanzaki, uh, the girl. Alright. Oh, good to know. Probably into motion sickness. Can't sleep without his own pillow. The guy pickpocketed her. Pickpocket. Hotel Nightmare? <laughs> no, the delinquent kids are just at a place called Hotel Nightmare? What amazing branding, bro. I'm sure your fucking business would do well if it's just called Hotel Nightmare. These are not high school students. Yo, all of these dudes are minimum 30. You tell me this is a fucking 17 year old kid? There's no way. This guy definitely has a 17 year old son. <laughs> That's so creepy. This dude saw that one girl was hot, so he like pickpocketed her diary. It happened to be the itinerary. Now they're all, you know, going to Kyoto because every other school is going there at the same time. Now he's going to fucking stalk them. Like, what are you doing, budget Ryuin? <laughs> なりさ、暗殺の場見えるかな変な修学旅行になったね。そうだね。でも楽しい。わらび餅。では、それに毒を入れるというのはどうでしょう。ポーセンセイ。いいね。名物で。スマート。もったいないよ。抹茶わらび
Maybe we should be worried for them. I'm like thinking they're going to jump us, but hold up. We're assassins. You know? I don't think these delinquent kids have any idea what they're fucking dealing with. Like, Nagisa literally used Conqueror's Hockey and made the principal show up in person because they're like, you scared them. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Your average high school students, guys. <laughs> really? These, these are 17, the age of like 15 to 18. This is high school kids. Wait, isn't this supposed to be junior high? I don't know. I'm going to assume they're at least high school students, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> These budget fucking delinquents, man. There's so many of them. <laughs> They're so fucking comically evil looking, bro. But I know all of them asses are going to start crying as soon as Karma and Nagisa does something. But instead of Karma and Nagisa clutching, I kind of want Kanzaki to do something. Right? Because they took Kanzaki's itinerary. And then there was another scene in the train where it literally just looked to Kanzaki and it was like, who knows what true people's true personality is really like. So maybe she's going to clutch for us. <laughs> Karma's ready for all the smoke. <laughs> oh shit, he got a blade. Yo, these guys got actual fucking weapons, bro. He bought a fucking box cutter. Oh. What the hell is this guy's design? <laughs> yo, yo, PPI is creepy, dude. It's like, what the hell is this dude? <laughs> yeah, this, this guy? Wait. Uh, uh, Rooney Kenshin. Wait, wait, wait. Rooney Kenshin, a uh, bandage guy. Because Th there is a specific arc, right? The Kyoto arc. <laughs> this dude, bro. This dude, bro. It's him. It's it's this guy. He looks just like him. He looks just like this guy, bro. It's a kill to wear the kill to work right now, man. <laughs> oh shit, karma. <laughs> they have a car? <laughs> They're actually kidnapping these girls? They get a get them the car? You have a car ready in Kyoto after a field trip? <laughs> Yeah, high schoolers. I can't believe Karma got done dirty like that. What the hell? Not like this. Bro, we got our booty cheeks clapped. Damn. I thought that like, it's going to be like a funny moment where they realize that they're fucking with assassins and we're going to be using our assassination techniques to like scare them off. Like the girls that like scare off the big scary boys, but... I guess, yeah. High school diff, bro. It's like the difference of a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old. Right? That's it. Junior high, right? Third year, junior high. <laughs> it's a difference of a 15-year-old and a... That one year, bro, something fucking changes. A poison girl, hey. There was a joke I want to make, but I'm not going to make it. I'm not gonna make that joke. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. She's smart though. She's smart for doing this. Good job. Good job for running. Oh, he mad, mad, bro. Look at that vein in his head. Phone somehow? I don't know. He rented out a fucking white van, bro. The fucking creepy shit that says free candy on the side. Ew, it's so creepy, bro. <laughs> you, 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 you tell me, this dude? This, you, 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 <laughs> These designs are so comically hilarious. Like, this, this is fucking high schoolers. <laughs> If you put it there, just peek this out. 
っかで見たことあると思ったんだけど。I I think this guy takes the cake from this fucking creepy ass dad. Like this dude looks like a fucking baron, right? This guy's like a in like an isekai show, right? Like any fucking shitty isekai that we watch on like a seasonal basis, I feel like he could be a fucking noble, 100%. Oh, what is these dudes? Everyone's missing their teeth, bro. I guess because they're always getting in fights and shit. <sighs> おめえだろ去年の夏頃東京のゲーセン報告するようダチに言ってたよサラオと計画してたんだおお、あみんな、これはプリクリピーだ。You took a picture of her and you fucking tracked her down like that. But Kanzaki Secret, the true nature, she's not just the normie vanilla girl. She had a little bit of a wild side before, huh? But I guess ever since getting into this prep school, she's changed her entire persona. <laughs> also, I just realized. I just realized the subtitles. I wanted to kidnap you back then. <laughs> Crazy shit. <laughs> Crazy shit. <laughs> I wanted to kidnap. That's some next level Riz. <laughs> kidnap Riz, bro. <laughs> Human trafficking Riz, bro. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> It's easy to let your guard down, you know, while traveling. Stay well aware of your surroundings to prevent being carried off by a baddie. Yeah. Want, want. Okay. It's easy to let your guard down, you know, while traveling. Stay well aware of your surroundings to prevent being carried off by a baddie. Yeah. Want, want. Okay. How do I find Kanzaki? Does it tell us? How do I find Kanzaki? So specific. What the hell? <laughs> it's gonna tell us how to show up here? We're gonna figure out how to trace back? Okay. <laughs> Typical Asian dad. Oh, she's a fucking elite gamer, bro, playing Toho. Hmm. No, go away, gross, creepy. I don't know, it's like you get you you pressure a kid to just basically be perfect all the time without ever like acknowledging what they really want and they're gonna act out trying to figure out who they are, right? But I think that I don't know, maybe this is really her, but if she's like confused about where she belongs. She won't belong at the end class. Oro sensei will figure out a way to make her feel like she belongs here and can be herself. Hmm. Just bullying salary <laughs> This is the elite, bro. You, you, you. <laughs> this is your justice? Fucking bullying a salary man that's probably worked 25 hour shift and can't get back home. Bro, you targeting the wrong fucking people, bro. Leave the poor fucking dude alone. His life is already a nightmare. I can't just get over these designs though. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy. This this guy is just the best. I think of all these designs for the high schoolers, the guy on the right, the, he takes the cake. This fucking mustache. This fucking barren fucking Margrave looking ass mustache, bro. Holy shit. Uh. エリート気取りで肉出してんだ。おめえもすぐに同じレベルまで落としてやる。宿舎に戻ったら涼しい顔でこう言え。楽しく空を消してただけですって。グロース。東京に戻ったらまたみんなで遊ぼうぜ。
考えられるのは先で置いたをするやからです。Yes? How did, how, how did you figure out the building though? I get the accent stuff, the logical deduction, okay, but like, how did you find this exact location? That, that's what I don't get. I feel like there's like a jumping logic here, right? Like, I get it. We use the Kansai dialect to differentiate, like, whether or not they're from Tokyo or Kyoto. And then what? <laughs> there's only a couple spots? Okay, it's that easy. Holy shit. <laughs> so we know, like, they're gonna be limited in areas of where they would abduct, and the sensei is giving us the fucking blocks of where it's just, like, easy to hide them. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> they're cooked. <laughs> Every one of them, they're cooked, bro. <laughs> Every one of their lives are the same now. <laughs> their teeth, bro. What's wrong with their fucking teeth? <laughs> Let's go, Karma. Who's that? A reinforcement? <laughs> Is it Koro Sensei? Who's it gonna be? Who's showing up right now? <laughs> Koro Sensei. These are the badasses, bro? Just four fucking brothers with the same glasses? <laughs> Sensei's wearing a veil. This is his disguise. Obviously, like, we shouldn't show Koro Sensei to the public, but like, with the tentacles wrapping around their necks, I don't think this this guy is really fucking matter, Sensei. It's a veil. Koro Sensei's weak point worries about keeping appearances. I, again, I don't think this is really gonna hide for shit, but whatever makes you sleep better at night, Koro Sensei. Oh shit, the kid's got a bottle of Jack Daniel, bro. He got Jack Dana. J A C Dana. Whisk. Okay, now he's gonna fucking bottle Koro Sensei with this. Ooh. He doesn't concuss like every one of them. Let's go. You'll piss your pants, pussy. No. No. At the end of the day, I don't. I. I I'm not gonna justify his behavior, right? Fucking piece of shit. But like, he has this entire inferiority complex without even realizing that, like, bro, like, we are literally put into like a concentration camp. Like, at our school, if you do bad, you get sent to the fucking gulags, bro. You have no clue what you're fucking dealing with. Don't fucking project your insecurities onto us. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, like, nobody's questioning. Yo, is this guy an alien? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? He's just like, oh, I see. These schools have elite teachers. Oh, you don't know what we're dealing with. But it's like, are you seeing this shit? <laughs> the, the one thing more unbelievable than the fact that these are fucking high school students, right? <laughs> Is the fact that there's like a fucking tentacle monster in the building, man. <laughs> crab bucket mentality. Do you know what that means? You have a bunch of crab in the bucket. And if one crab tries to get out, it's almost made it out to freedom. You know what the other crabs do? Do you think the other crabs are going to go, wow, amazing, inspiring. I wish, your, I wish, you know, future success. No, they're like, get the fuck down here. Because at the end of the day, misery loves company. Losers wants to justify why they are losers by having more losers around them. A comfortable lie is way more better to them than a brutal truth that's going to change their lives. 
people like him are always going to want other people to bring down to them because trash belongs in the trash. Okay. Let's go, Kanzaki. Flop like a flash. But what is... Oh, it's a dictionary. I thought they just fucking used a concrete cement. I, I thought they just fucking used a brick, like a concrete brick. They just fucking bashed their heads. But it's a dictionary. It's a dictionary. It's, it's all right. Yeah. It's no money. Oh, uh -huh. Car would have fucking killed him, man. Confronted <laughs> いえいえ。そういや、うちのは暗殺実行できなかったな。それどころじゃなくて。カルマイコロさんさえそうだ。カジュアリースタービングウォーイワンコンウィンピース。それどころじゃなかったですから。いいよ。明日殺せば。オール